In this video, we're talking about how to find the surface area of a right circular cone. When we talk about a right circular cone, we start with a cone, right, which is this three-dimensional object. And because it's a circular cone, we know that the base of the cone is a circle. And because it's a right circular cone, we know that the angle between the altitude here, its height, and the base of the cone is a 90 degree angle. So we have this 90 degree or right angle indication here. So we're dealing with right circular cones and we want to find the surface area of a figure like this one. Well, when we have a right circular cone, we always use the surface area formula. Surface area is equal to L plus B, where L is the area of the lateral face, so the area of the side of the cone, and B is the area of the base, or the area of the bottom. Well, we can break that down more specifically. Because the base is a circle, and the area of a circle is always pi r squared, we can make a substitution for the area of the base, B, and call that pi r squared. And similarly, to find the area of the lateral surface, Surface, all we use is pi r, so pi times the radius times l, lowercase l, which stands for slant height, which is the length of the slanted side here of the cone. So we've got this formula, we're going to be using this one most often, and what we want to do is go through a couple of examples. So in this first example, we have a cone, we know that the radius is 3, the height is 4, and the slant height is 5. So if we plug these values into our formula for surface area, we're going to get s is equal to pi r l, so we're going to get pi times r, we know that the radius is 3, so we've got 3 there, times l, the slant height, well that's 5, so we go ahead and plug that in, plus pi r squared, so pi times r squared, the radius is 3, so we're going to get times 3 squared. And when we simplify, we'll get s is equal to, 3 times 5 is 15, so we get 15 pi, and then 3 cubed is 9, so we get plus 9 pi. When we add those together, of course, we're just going to get 24 pi, and that'll be the surface area of this cone. And again, if you want to give a decimal approximation, you can use 3.14 for pi. If you want to give a fractional approximation, you can use 22 sevenths for pi, but we're just going to leave our answer in terms of pi. Now if we look at a second example here, we have this cone. We know that the height of the cone is 15 and the radius is 12, but we don't have slant height, and we need slant height so that we can plug in for L for our surface area formula. So how are we going to get slant height? Well, what we need to realize is that we can actually use the Pythagorean theorem to find the slant height, because if you realize here, we actually have a right triangle where one leg of the triangle has length 15, one leg of the triangle has length 12, and the hypotenuse of the triangle is unknown. Since it's a right triangle with a 90 degree angle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, we'll go ahead and say for the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember that c is always the hypotenuse, so we'll go ahead and say a is 15 and b is 12. So we'll start with that and we'll say 15 squared plus 12 squared is going to be equal to c squared. 15 squared is 225, 12 squared is 144, equal to c squared. When we add these two together, we get 369 equals c squared. When we take the square root of both sides, we're going to get c is equal to the square root of 369. 369 is actually 9 times 41, so we can say square root of 9 times 41, and then you know from rules of square roots that we can separate these, the square root of 9 is 3, so we're going to get c is equal to 3 times the square root of 41, which we can't simplify any further. So then we know that the slant height is 3 times root 41. Now that we have the slant height, we can go ahead and plug into our surface area formula, and we're going to get surface area is equal to pi times r, the radius, 12, times l, the slant height, so times 3 root 41 plus pi r squared, so plus pi times r squared, or in our case, 12 squared. So we're going to simplify and get 12 times 3 is 36, so we're going to get 36 root 41 pi plus 12 squared is 144, so 144 pi, and we'll go ahead and leave our answer in terms of pi, but again, if you wanted to use a decimal approximation, just plug in 3.14 for pi, and you'll get surface area in terms of a decimal number. But that's how you find the surface area of a right circular cone.